Hi, I'm Mike Brennan, one of the engineering supervisors at McNaught and McKay Electric Company. Today we're going to talk about flashing firmware on a Compact Logix controller. The easiest way to flash firmware on a Compact Logix controller is by utilizing the front mounted USB port. A simple printer cable is all you need and plug directly into that port. With the cable plugged into the USB port, you'll see the Compact Logix in the RS Who window under the USB driver. Note the part number. Next, we'll open the Control Flash Utility and select the part number that we wish to upgrade. We will then be able to choose the controller and pick which version we want to upgrade the controller to. In this case, we're going to select version 28. The upgrade will occur with two different chunks of data. We've sped up the progress window for time. This could take up to 10 minutes. Once the transfer of the second block has completed, the unit will cycle power and the control flash utility will continually check to make sure that the compact Logix has properly cycled power and that the firmware has been upgraded to the proper version. As you can see, the tool reported that version 28 has been successfully flashed. We can additionally verify this by using the RS Who window in RS Links, right clicking on the controller, selecting device properties, and looking at the revision to ensure it's version 28. If you have any additional questions or for more videos like this, please feel free to give us a call or visit our website.